is the greatest backer in Ohio State history. By the end of this program, you will know. Welcome to Wall-to-Wall -Wall Sports. I'm Bo Bishop. Dom has the night off. On the program tonight, we will unveil the top three linebackers to ever put on that silver helmet. It's training camp week in the NFL. We'll get you set for Bengals, Browns, and Steelers camps. Plus, NASCAR hits the bricks in Indy. Jimmy Johnson back in victory lane there. You'll hear from him. And uh, could it mean another title for the 48 team? We'll get to all of that. And, of course, we're eating very well in the grill. A steak and shake in the house. And they have fed us very well. Our people very happy. Our finally countdown list of the summer begins now. We showed you 10 through 4 last night on Wall to Wall Sports. Here's a quick refresher of those guys. Ike Kelly rounded out the top 10 while Steve Tovar was ninth. The big cat, Andy Katzenmoyer, eighth, while Marcus Merrick was seventh. Pepper Johnson was sixth. The most recent graduate, James Laurinaitis, was fifth. Randy Gratisher, fourth. Now let's resume the countdown. Here's number three and two at linebacker. Tom Cousineau was a tackling machine. From 1975 through 1978, he accumulated 569 tackles, establishing a new school record. Marcus Merrick is the only Buckeye to pass that total, and he did so by just three. One record that still stands is 211 stops in 1978, a single season record that may never be broken. That year, he made 29 tackles in the season over, still tied for the most in a single game. Against SMU, his 16 total solo tackles remains the benchmark in that category. Cousineau was the type of the guy that you'd want, you know, whenever you're starting to name that all-time defense at Ohio State there, he certainly would get consideration as one of your top linebackers of all time. All Big Ten is sophomore, junior, and senior years. The product of Lakeward St. Ed's High School was an All-American his last two years. Tom and I had the same high school coach, Coach Mike Kearns, and Tom had him at Lakewood St. Ed's, and I, of course, had him at Maslin Washington High School. And Tom was a, a guy that was just fast and smart and tough and knew how to play. The Buffalo Bills made him the number one overall pick in the 1979 NFL Draft, although Cousineau opted to play in the CFL. Five of the top ten single-game tackle totals in Ohio State history can be found next to Cousineau's name. A physical freak of nature he could have come from central casting. You could tell that he was going to be special. I mean, this, this guy uh, came in as a freshman and uh, he had to look. He was like an Adonis, <laughs> you know, physically. I mean, he just looked the part of a superstar, and, uh, and he played that way. I mean, you know, you don't rack up that many tackles by, by not getting your nose bloody. Following high school, the Ohio State coaches weren't sure if A.J. Hawk would play linebacker or fullback. Recruited alongside Mike DeAndrea, Bobby Carpenter, and Stan White Jr., the Centerville native was almost an afterthought. When I watched A.J., he, he was a football player. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the way he moved, just how he maneuvered his body, how he saw the field. He wasn't only a big kid that can run, but instinct-wise, he had it. He got it. And I don't know if you can teach that. As a freshman, Hawk scored a touchdown in just his second career game on an interception return against Kent State. Pressed into the starting lineup against Penn State, he made another interception in the season that saw the Buckeyes win the 2002 national title. The number one guy in my mind would be A.J. Hawk. Uh, you could tell early on in his career. In 2003, Hawk moved into the starting lineup for good and paced Ohio State with 106 tackles, earning all Big Ten honors. As a junior, he made 141 stops, again best among Buckeyes, and the most since Chris Spielman's 205 in 1986. For that, he added All-American to his resume. How many times did you ever see him out of position? I mean, the weak side linebacker is supposed to sit there and what I call it, collect garbage sometimes, looking for the cutback. And uh, he was always, literally al always there where he was supposed to be, which is why he had so many tackles as he did. His senior season brought all Big Ten, all American prestige once again, but he was also named the Lombardi winner as well as the Big Ten's Defensive Player of the Year. Hawk registered 121 tackles, 16 and a half of which were for loss. To the general fan, they could see how good he is to the high-level coach that studies the fine little details of linebacking. He did everything right. For his career, Hawks 394 tackles are the fifth most in school history. His numbers also include 15 sacks, 41 tackles for loss, and 11 interceptions. The number one linebacker in Ohio State history on the other side of this quick timeout. Still. When everybody says it's too good to be true, it usually is. Except with Hyundai Assurance, because now we're giving you something else you need. Gas, a whole year's worth for just a buck 49. Buy select new models and you'll pay just $1.49 a gallon. Add those savings to a new Elantra and you'll also be driving J.D. Power & Associates' highest ranked compact car in initial quality. Visit Hatfield Hyundai, Dennis Hyundai of Dublin, Dennis Hyundai of Easton, Coughlin Hyundai, and Reichert Hyundai. 
I'm just in case. Safe auto, just in case. I know it's late, but I'm really worried about being able to afford my car insurance. Well, we can help with affordable rates, low monthly payments, and we're here for you 24-7. That's just what I needed to hear. Now I can sleep easy tonight. See, now that's just what I wanted to hear. Safe auto, just in case. Safe auto. Scientific tests prove when you drink Dr. Pepper slow, 23 flavors taste even better. For me, slow always produces a hit. Step aside for a minute. Check this out. Slower is better. Trust me. Doc. Now, Revel Wireless gives you unlimited talk and text to any number on any network in the country for the lowest price anywhere. Unlimited talk and text. Just $34.99. Only from Revel Wireless. Offer ends soon. Go to Revel.com or see store for details. Get unlimited talk and text to any number on any network to anyone in the country without a contract for just $34.99. Only from Revel Wireless. Offer ends soon. Go to Revel.com or see store for details. You get the right car and the right heart. Dial 614 Clunker and put the big government money to work for you. Check out a brand new 2010 Mazda 3, only $11,499, and you own it. Brand new 2010 Mazda 3 Sports, $229 a month, $229, down, and you own it. Come in and test drive a Mazda today. Dial 614 Clunker and put the big government money to work for you. And right heart. We're dealing. Unearth the secrets of ancient Egypt. Unlock the code and win a family four-pack to Lost Egypt. To recap our list of the 10 greatest linebackers in Ohio State history, at 10, Dwight Ike Kelly. Steve Tovar comes in at 9. Andy Katzenmoyer is at 8. Marcus Merrick at number 7. The 6th spot is occupied by Pepper Johnson. James Laurinaitis and Randy Gratisher are 5th and 4th, respectively. Tom Cousineau can be found at 3, and A.J. Hawk is number 2. Several figures are considered the embodiment of Ohio State football, and Chris Spielman is certainly one of them. Archie's got all the Heismans, and you hear his name a lot, but if you talk about you know, who are the great ones at Ohio State, Chris Spielman just comes to mind, <clears throat> and that goes beyond linebackers. A legend before he even put on the scarlet and gray, Spielman appeared on a box of Wheaties while still in high school at Massillon. Ankle injuries limited him to just seven games and 45 tackles as a true freshman, although he contributed to a Big Ten title and a Rose Bowl appearance. First game, I think it was against Oregon, his uh, Oregon, Oregon State, I get those mixed up now, but his freshman year, first thing he does, he reads the play because he's the most, one of the most prepared linebackers maybe in college football history as far as studying the game. He reads the play, is in the hole, the only guy in the hole, and nails a running back for like I think a two-yard loss. His sophomore year began a string of three straight all Big Ten campaigns. He had 104 tackles and three interceptions in a season that was most remembered for one game. Chris's game against Iowa, along with his fellow linebacker Pepper Johnson in 1985 was one that you never forget. Johnson and Spielman each had 19 tackles in that game. Iowa came into Ohio State that year ranked as the number one ranked team in the country. And it's one of only four times in Ohio State history that the Buckeyes have been able to defeat a number one ranked team. 1986 saw Spielman make a school record 105 solo stops. His 205 total tackles was the second highest single season mark at Ohio State. He also made six interceptions, earning all Big Ten and All-American honors. Probably was the best linebacker in college football his sophomore year, probably his junior year too. Against Michigan, Spielman had 29 tackles, timed Tom Cousineau's single game record. I always thought that a linebacker should make every play because if it's a pass, he should be pretty close by. And if it's a run, you got to make the play. His senior year brought the same recognition with a Lombardi Award to throw in for good measure. Spielman came up with 156 tackles to go with four sacks and a pair of picks. When Chris was a senior, I got a chance to meet him one time after they played the Oregon Ducks and uh, shook his hand, and I'll never forget that moment. I said, you had a great game, and that was a great hit you put on that running back. And Chris said, I needed some more of those. I'll never forget that moment in my life. His career stat line reads 546 tackles, third all time, and 283 solo tackles, most of any Buckeye. His 263 career assisted stops are also third best. 
He also contributed eight sacks and 11 interceptions. When I look back at my football career, one of the things that's most neat for me is I tried out for the Cleveland Browns. I signed as a free agent, lasted a couple preseason games, but I would be out there at practice. You know, at the weak side linebacker spot, Chris Spielman's the middle linebacker, and to sit there and be making checks and making calls and telling Chris what I see, he's telling me what, what he sees, that's something that was just amazing. Here's the guy I idolized and the guy I shook his hand when I was in sixth grade, and now I'm, I'm lined up next to him, and that, that's just the mystique around Chris Spielman. Well, certainly an outstanding football player, even Spielman admits he was not gifted physically. I had good balance and I had good vision and uh, instincts. I, I think if somebody would to ask me, what's the one thing, Chris, that uh, you thought you did better than anybody else? And I think my instincts of knowing where to go, seeing things that a lot of people couldn't see as far as just maneuvering my body in a way to avoid being blocked and making a play. Chris Spielman, without question, will always be regarded as one of the best we've ever had and one that played the game to the fullest with great desire and great intensity. Well, humbled to be on top of our list, Spielman is proud of the linebacker tradition at Ohio State, noting a similarity between many of the great players, especially in the middle. That instinct thing, and there's, it's about being a football player. You find that type of player, then you put him in the middle and say, see ball, get ball. Well, Chris certainly did a lot of that. So there's our top 10. Do you agree? Coming up a little later in the show, we'll reveal who you, the viewer, selected as the 10TV.com as the top linebacker in Ohio State history. Well, you want answers, Cleveland Browns fans? You think you're entitled to them? You want the truth? At long last, you are about ready to get it. Eric Mangini era underway with rookie camp starting on Friday. The answers you're looking for will continue to be answered this Friday in Berea as Mangini will begin his, quote, high-pressure quarterback competition between Derek Anderson and Dublin's Brady Quinn. Most Browns in Insiders feel like Quinn has the edge, though Anderson has been resilient in the past. The Browns open preseason play August 15th at Green Bay. While there is quarterbacking issues in Cleveland, no such problem exists in Cincinnati. There's a caveat to this, though. Can't Carson Palmer play, and he's got to be healthy. The Stripes just a different team when he is. Beyond Palmer, there is much optimism entering camp in Georgetown, Kentucky this Thursday. A star to the draft has a lot to do with that. Left tackle Andre Smith, the first-round pick, and, of course, linebacker Ray Malaluga in the second. Smith specifically needs to be in camp on time. He's being counted on to protect Palmer's blind side. Cincinnati opens preseason play at New Orleans on August 14th. It's quite likely that the Bengals and Browns fans will again spend this season, as they have nearly every season for the last 15 or so, staring up in the standings at the Steelers. The world champs virtually intact following last season's Super Bowl win. The Steelers report to training camp July 31st in Latrobe. It's actually the 43rd straight year that they have camped in Latrobe. The Steelers open preseason play in a Super Bowl rematch August 13th against the Cardinals. One of the most beloved professional athletes this city has ever seen is back in town. We go one-on-one -on -one with Jody Shelley as Wall to Wall Sports continues. Time you're in a Tim Hortons, you'll notice we have blueberries, lots of blueberries, new blueberry glazed and blueberry bloom donuts for just 79 cents each. A lot of blue for just a little green. That's what we call fresh thinking. Tim Hortons, where quality meets value. The team enters the field ready for yet another challenge. Looks like they're ready to start play. There's a shovel pass. He takes it. And wait a minute. The ref is calling a timeout. She indicates failure to call before digging. And just in a nick of time. Play it smart and make the right call. Call before you dig and have your yard marked for underground electric wires. For more information on electrical safety, visit AEPOhio.com. Soon we will lace up those tinnies and walk the walk against breast cancer. Hello, I'm Angela Pace and this is Lori Dixon. I'm very fortunate. I am a breast cancer survivor and I'm here to recruit team leaders for the American Cancer Society's kickoff breakfast for making strides against breast cancer. Register online by August 19th as we gear up for our 5K walk in October. Please support the American Cancer Society in its fight against breast cancer. Join our team on August 19th. I've had a lot of tragedy in my life, but I've had a lot of wonderful things. Rebecca Gee, her first time talking since their accident one year ago. Andrea Cameron talks with Rebecca about her life, her dreams, and her dad. Monday at 6 on 10TV News HD. It's a one-of-a-kind experience of fire, music, and dance. Come witness an extraordinary musical presentation as the Alliance of Greater Central Ohio performs in partnership with Waterfire Columbus on Friday, August 5th, downtown at the Riverfront Amphitheater. Log on for details.
see real Irish dancing at the Dublin Irish Festival, July the 31st to August the 2nd. Log on to DublinIrishFestival.org to download your custom schedule. The Dublin Irish Festival, like Ireland, except smaller. The Donato's Delivery of the Day on 10 TV's Wall to Wall Sports is brought to you by the Donato's Picnic Pack. Get any large one-topping pizza and a two-liter for just $12.99. Well, welcome back. Our Donato's Delivery of the Day wants to know who the 10 TV viewers voted as the top Ohio State linebacker of all time, and it is Marcus Merrick. He was seventh on our countdown, but first in the eyes of the 10 TV viewers, Spiels comes in at number two. Merrick actually won by a pretty good margin. A.J. Hawk was third. D1 Sports is coming to Columbus. On Tuesday of last week, they held an open house. The idea is pro athlete level training for you. Local luminaries, Bobby Carpenter, Mike Brable, A.J. Hawk, Jody Shelley are co-owners of the new venture. Speaking of Shelley, earlier this week, we caught up with the former jacket. Familiar face, obviously, to those of us in the Columbus area. And jo Jody, you're here for the D1 sports thing. What made you get involved in that? And, and what, what makes it special to you and, and something that would bring you back and have you get involved? Well, you know, it's a thing that uh, being a professional athlete, you realize early that the off season and your training re regime is really, it's really, it's crucial. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been involved with different uh, different organizations in the town as far as training and and this is a this is an opportunity just to be involved in something that puts you to the next level to have one here in columbus for me it was exciting because not only can i use it um, i can be involved in it and watch the kids grow and, and train with the kids and have a lot of fun now you've spent a lot of time here obviously you're, you're from nova scorship play with san jose now but it, columbus seems to be home what, what, what is it that, that made you obviously the people here love you you love the people but what is it about central ohio that brings you back all the time yeah, it's my wife first of all <laughs> uh, just kidding uh, you know uh i've actually i've got some great roots here you know my wife is from the hawking hills uh i've made some great friends in this area and i love it i love columbus i love the people here we had great fans and, and the experience i had here as a player you know i never really think down the road five or six years ago but uh to have the opportunity to stay here and and put my roots down is exciting for me it's just a great spot to live what was it like for you watching the jackets first playoff uh, experience I, i'm sure you didn't get to see a whole lot of it but but watching from afar a team that you put so many blood sweat and tears into you know what i watched the blue jackets all year and uh any chance i got and i was excited for everyone uh, i was really excited for rick nash i was excited for the organization and for the fans i mean honestly i'm a blue jackets fan jody thank you thanks Always a lot. pleasure to have you thanks, back in central ohio well, NASCAR made its annual stop at the Brickyard. Up next, we'll rev it up. This summer with the Donato's Picnic Pack. Just pick a park, pack a pizza, pour a Pepsi, and enjoy the perfect picnic. Because nothing beats a delicious Donato's pizza loaded from edge to edge with your favorite toppings. And right now, get a large one-topping pizza and a two-liter for just $12.99. That's a large one-topping pizza loaded with the finest and freshest toppings of your choice and a two-liter for just $12.99. The Donato's Picnic Pack. Just one more reason summer's more fun with Donato's. If you're considering a career change or upgrade, here's important information. No matter where you live or would like to live, air conditioning, heating, ventilation, and refrigeration specialists are needed. This is a career that offers variety, mobility, and independence on the job, plus the possibility of self-employment. Get the skill, get the job at American School of Technology. They prepared me for a career I've always wanted and then helped me get started. Call American School of Technology now at 614-4-SCHOOL. That's 614-472-4665. Hi, we're the Weeks family. And I'm Jackson. And this is my pediatric health source story. When he was four, he was diagnosed with a lung infection and he was admitted to Nationwide Children's Hospital. They had him on several different kinds of antibiotics and antifungals. It was hard on Jackson and, and hard on us as well. I was really nervous because I never took an epi before. I thought if I tried to swallow it, I would choke on it. It was very important. We helped work with him to learn how to take medicines. We have eight different practice pills that we use with the children here. They start with a small size and gradually increase in size. Now it's simple because I just know and it's easy and I'm better than my dad and sister. They go above and beyond what they need to do to make sure that the kids get what they need. This helps him live, you know, a normal life. For more on how the experts at Nationwide Children's help kids take their medicine, visit PediatricHealthSource.org. Pediatric Health Source is brought to you by Discount Drug Mart, serving Ohio's health care needs for 40 years.
You get the right car at Reichardt. Dial 614 Clunker and put the big government money to work for you. Check out a brand new 2010 Mazda 3, only $11,499, and you own it. Brand new 2010 Mazda 3 Sports, $229 a month, $229, down, and you own it. Come in and test drive a Mazda today. Dial 614 Clunker and put the big government money to work for you. We're dealing. 10 TV News HD wakes you up with Central Ohio's most trusted news team. Wake up with the 10 TV News team weekday mornings only on Central Ohio's News Leader. Find us here on Facebook and Twitter today. Make the most of this summer with the Donato's Picnic Pack. Just pick a park, pack a pizza, pour a Pepsi, and enjoy your perfect picnic. Because nothing beats a delicious Donato's pizza loaded from edge to edge with your favorite toppings. And right now, get a large one-topping pizza and a two-liter for just $12.99. That's a large one-topping pizza loaded with the finest and freshest toppings of your choice and a two-liter for just $12.99. The Donato's Picnic Pack. Just one more reason summer's more fun with Donato's. In uncertain times, we could all use a little certainty, especially at the pump. So now Hyundai Assurance helps with something else. Gas. A whole year's worth for just a buck forty-nine. Buy select new sedans and you'll pay just a dollar forty-nine a gallon. At nine out of ten gas stations nationwide. Plus, in the new Sonata, you'll get up to 32 miles per gallon for even greater gas savings. Visit Hatfield Hyundai, Dennis Hyundai of Dublin, Dennis Hyundai of Easton, Coughlin Hyundai, and Reichert Hyundai. Heat up your summer with the hot sounds of the Columbus Jazz Orchestra and the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium at Jazz Zoo 2009. It is the ultimate summer party featuring the wild sounds of local jazz. Friday, July 31st, come help us celebrate 50 years of Motown. Relive glorious memories and fabulous music that once filled a soulful era. Don't miss Jazz Zoo 2009 at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. For more information or tickets, log on to ColumbusZoo.org. I lost my mother. I lost my husband. Monday. I've had a lot of tragedy in my life, but I've had a lot of wonderful things. Rebecca Gee, her first time talking since their accident one year ago. Being a doctor is the greatest gift I, uh, that I've ever received. Now, Andrea Camburn talks with Rebecca about her life, her dreams, and her dad. Every father should have such a daughter. Monday at 6 on 10 TV News HD, Central Ohio's news leader. It's a one-of-a-kind experience of fire, music, and dance. Come witness an extraordinary musical presentation as the Alliance of Greater Central Ohio performs in partnership with Waterfire Columbus on Friday, August 5th, downtown at the Riverfront Amphitheater. Log on for details. Come on, Central Ohio, what are you waiting for? 10 TV and the Columbus Clippers want you to get up, get outside, get active, and commit, commit to, to be, be fit. fit. How was that? Perfect. Sponsored by Metro Parks, Donato's, and Three a Day of Dairy.